Borda. It's a very good morning and welcome to our morning prayer here in Rushmere, which is in Rothensee, in the parish of St. Joseph's in Colman Bay. We very often start a journey by blessing ourselves, named the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and very often too by using holy water in that exercise. So what are we doing? We're placing ourselves in God's presence and asking him to journey with us on this day to give us power to overcome the problems that come our way and give us inspiration that uh, what we do, we do as his hands and feet and his eyes. At this morning prayer, we dispose ourselves to receive God's grace and to be his messenger in the world. Today is the feast of St. Antonius, uh, who died in 375. He was in his 80s. He had a very hard and difficult life. And perhaps we'll come back to that again. We normally, at this time, read from the scriptures. This reading is from John's Gospel. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my own joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. This is the Gospel. And so Jesus' prayer is that we should be one with him and with the Father. And we should share his joy, his resurrected joy, and be able to communicate that to others. So that when people see us, and meet with us, and converse with us, we bring them the good news. We come back to St. Antonius, who had absorbed the scriptures, he's a doctor of the church. He was involved in the Council of Nicaea. And rather peculiarly, I suppose you might say, some of the problems which he was confronted with are problems we are faced with today. Arianism was a big issue at that time. There was a problem accepting that Jesus was one with the Father and the Holy Spirit. That the Trinity is one God, but three persons in the one God. And they were battling at that time other religious uh, interpretations of Christianity. So you had a fight for orthodoxy. In secularism, which we uh, very much experience in the world around us and the world today, there's an inclination to look upon religion as all religions be the same, essentially. Not much difference. They all worship a god, whatever that god looks like. We are very clear that all religions are not the same. That Christ is the revelation of God made man. We are not the same as other religions. Very, very different because we are the true religion. <clears throat> In the first reading the, from the Acts of the Apostles, you have the development of the church in the early days. 
And they were very insistent. Uh, you had Peter, this is from Acts, uh, the 15th chapter of the Acts of the Apostles. And you have a conversation with Peter telling the people the good news. And uh, he says, <clears throat> I would only provoke God's anger now, surely, if you imposed on the disciples the very burden that neither we nor our ancestors were strong enough to support. Remember, we believe that we are saved in the same way as they are, through the grace of Jesus Christ. Jesus is our Saviour. So we pray today to be given the grace and the wisdom to hold on to, like St. Athanasius, the, our own faith and to be able to proclaim it to the world around us. Sometimes we go on holidays and perhaps sometimes we don't go to church or we give ourselves a holiday from church as if you can separate life from reality. In Turkey, for example, which is a very popular place to go on holidays, 0.2% of people in Turkey are non-Islam, are uh, 0 0.2, mostly Christians. And yet, Turkey was one time the source of inspiration in the world, particularly in Wales and in Ireland. So when we go on holidays, everybody should know who we are. So our prayer this morning is to ask God to be true witnesses through to the, the true faith. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who rose who raised up Bishop St. Athanasius as an outstanding champion of your son's divinity. Mercifully grant that rejoicing in his protection and teaching, we may never cease to grow in knowledge and in love of you. We make this prayer through Christ, our risen Lord. Let's go now and witness to the good news. And thank you for joining us this morning. <laughs>